My name is Joseph Marine. I'm a clinical cardiac electrophysiologist, which means that I do work in diagnosing and treating cardiac arrhythmias. These are heart rhythm disorders that cause the heart to beat irregularly or too fast or too slow. My research is focused on catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation, particularly working uh, to make the procedure safer and more effective. I'm also involved uh, with administration for the health system, um, in particular uh, working on projects for quality and safety and uh, strategic planning for the cardiology division. Part of the nature of what I do is working with interdisciplinary teams, with nurses, with anesthetists, with cardiac technicians. Uh, anybody who's come to the clinical cardiac EP lab will always see a big team, and I think that we get great feedback about how well our team works together. Part of my job as the physician is to make sure that everybody on the team is working um, together to produce the best outcome for the patient every time. My philosophy of patient care is to work with our team um, to always try to provide the best possible outcome for every patient. Part of that is understanding what the patient's goals and preferences are. In my field, there's often more than one way to treat an arrhythmia, so it's very important to take the time to understand with a patient and the patient's family what the goals are and what the patient's uh, desired outcome is and try to do our very best to deliver that for the patient every time. I went into cardiac electrophysiology because I was really interested in the electrocardiogram and fascinated by how much this long-standing and simple test could tell us about a patient's cardiac condition. I also trained in the 1990s, which was a time of enormous innovation in understanding the basic mechanisms of cardiac arrhythmias, an innovation in new treatments such as catheter ablation, uh, cardiac resynchronization therapy, and defibrillator therapy for patients with cardiac arrhythmias. So it was a really exciting time to go into the field. I came to Johns Hopkins because I was really attracted to the long-standing tradition of excellence and innovation that's really a part of the DNA of the culture here. Um, I think you can see that, and I, I see it every day in the people that I work with, that everybody's really driven by a sense of the history of the place and a desire to maintain that tradition of excellence.